My name is Ben Owen III, and I live in Seagrove, North Carolina. I've uh, been uh, a potter for many years now and had the great opportunity to learn from my family and, and making pots in the, our family business. Uh, my grandfather first uh, taught me early on when I was about eight years old making uh, pieces in his studio where he made pots for many years. And, and my dad continued on uh, teaching me after my grandfather had passed away and, and uh, running the business. And we've been able to uh, uh, be ins inspired by many influences in, in different cultures to uh, early American influences from early settlers of our family and other families who came to the Seagrove area. And through that, uh, we've uh, kind of adapted from using and making early American type pottery more in a functional sense. Uh, whether it be uh, pitchers or bowls or uh, other types of uh, preserve or storage containers for food or other, uh, other things in the home. But also, um, uh, over time, other cultures really became a, a major part in uh, the style of pottery we, we make. Uh, we've been very fortunate uh, as far as my influences and in having the opportunity to travel to other countries and such as Japan or China or places in Europe and then later on in um, Australia and New Zealand. I spent some time there as well. I was invited as part of a fellowship to go to Japan and uh, work with a group of potters in a village there. But I think I was really uh, looking at it from the standpoint of when uh, the opportunity came available to uh, have, have a chance to travel like that was to extend the influences that my grandfather had and what he w had done in his career working at Jugtown Pottery for over 36 years and looking at these forms that were coming from Asian cultures such as Japan or Korea or China and studying them when really he never had took the opportunity or had the opportunity to go to those countries and really see the, the pieces firsthand. The importance of making functional pottery is a, a strong foundation in not only our family but this community of potters in Seagrove, but also how we've been able to market and develop uh, certain types of pieces, whether it was something my grandfather made or other uh, family members in this, uh, in this community of potters uh, have been able to take and uh, promote and market pottery in a whole nother fashion. And so it's uh, become an industry where uh, it wasn't just out of our own necessities or bartering with other people who have other talents or crafts, but at the same time we've been able to uh, make things. In, the, in the recent times, for me, it's been more in public settings uh, in the sense of making pieces that can be used for decoration in a lobby or uh, of a hotel or maybe a, a business uh, building that where they want some decoration to uh, please the people walking through uh, as well as um, you know, special gifts that are made for particular people or uh, uh, a special occasion. So I've been able to learn a lot over the years as far as the, the type of things that I've made and uh, experienced learning from a family tradition but also uh, looking at other potters in this community and what they're making and what they're offering the public is uh, quite really exciting what the future can hold as far as our community of potters in this area. And you go and visit any particular shop in the area, you're going to see distinct uh, uh, styles or, or unique qualities to their work that they represent and that is their vocabulary in working in clay. And I, I think the opportunity of that is it's only going to grow and enhance more because we offer that variety or diversity to the public or the consumer that comes to the area. But I am, I'm very excited about the future or what we can do, especially making something that is uh, you know, handmade. Uh, we want to uh, convey the message of how it can be used in a functional or decorative nature, but how we can take and teach the next generations that can potentially work in this community, whether it's one of my children or uh, other, other people that come to the area and want to study with a potter or have formal training in the university, but they've made the, the effort to move to the area and they brought their skills and training and they offer new, something new to this community. And I think the, the future is wide open as far as what we can do and I believe that our, our economy can grow and flourish in this community, especially with potters uh, offering that variety of things.